Pretty important for Mother Nature to play nice here over these uh, next 24 hours, if, yeah. if she can. Let's, let's go ahead and check in with Ben for a look at what uh, people might encounter if they're in line outdoors at the polls, as uh, Hank just said. Ben? Yeah, Kim and Devin, it looks like we've gotten all the bad stuff out of our system here over the weekend, and things should be relatively perfect tomorrow, at least for this time of year. The only exception is going to be that starting temperature. So if you're there when the polls open at 7 a.m., that is going to be obviously the coolest spot, 36. But we're going to see plenty of sunshine throughout the day until the polls close when temperatures are going to be at 50. And again, even if those lines in most years have kept you inside because of social distancing and the turnout, uh, as uh, everybody was saying, you may be outdoors waiting uh, at least for a while. Election day is looking good. A warming trend is in place for the rest of the week. You may be surprised how high some of those numbers are going. And the rain chances don't return for a good long while. We'll see how long those stick around. You want to get a sneak peek at that 10 day forecast. The local forecasters app is your place to go. It's also a great place to drop storm pins, even if you're going out to vote in the next 24 hours, guys. Okay, Ben, the last day on the campaign trail, busy one.